a long and unassuming road that runs through the historic village of Ostal in the Cotswolds, a ghost has been spotted on numerous occasions over the centuries. This is no ordinary ghost that floats by seemingly oblivious to its surroundings. This ghost poses as a living person and is treated as such until it becomes spine-chillingly apparent she is not. The Cotswolds can be quite spooky on a winter's day, with little street lighting, dark windy roads and an ancient history. It's no surprise ghosts have been seen in these parts. But few are as frantic as the hitchhiker ghost we meet tonight. Our first victim was driving home from work one day in the 1990s, travelling along this single track road at 50 miles an hour. He had little time to process what he was seeing before screeching to a halt in the road. He looked out of his windscreen, fragmented by wipers fighting the driving rain, trying to make sense of the orb of green light floating in the road. It took on human form right before his eyes. He was still 300 metres away, but he was certain it was a woman. Dressed in a long, billowing cloak, he couldn't make out her features. As she walked towards the car, waving her arms frantically, blocking his path. He was shaking, but lowered his window to ask her what was wrong. There was no reply, but she walked round the car to the passenger side and opened the car door. By this time, the driver was terrified but felt unable to alter the events that were unfolding around him. She sat down in the passenger seat. Voice trembling, he asked her again what was wrong. He could see now she was dripping wet as if pulled from the river. She turned full face to silently stare at him. Her features still, ghostly and indistinct, as if looking into his soul, and into that moment the car was filled with a blinding panic. She looked towards the road and pointed silently at the road ahead. He followed her instruction and drove. He found himself gaining speed as the atmosphere in the car turned from blind panic to overwhelming despair. Hands gripping the steering wheel, terrified of his mysterious passenger. They travelled about half a mile towards the village of Asshall. The driver was glad to be approaching civilization. The hitchhiker turned full face to look at him again and uttered the words, It's no good, he's gone. The next time the driver took his eyes off the road to look at his passenger, she was gone. Vanished into thin air from a speeding car, leaving behind her just a misty orb and a feeling of heart-wrenching sorrow. You got the message then? Another victim of our hitchhiker ghost came in the form of a mother driving to pick up her child from school. After a peculiar day of plumbing and flooding chaos in her home, she left out early before further disaster struck. Little did she know her day was going to get a lot worse. Along that same stretch of road running alongside the river Windrush, just beyond the village of Ostal, the hitchhiker ghost was sighted in human form, waving frantically and blocking the road. The driver wound down her window and asked, what's the matter? The cloaked figure with ghostly indistinct features walked silently around the passenger door and looked through the window. You got the message then? The driver was bewildered by what was going on, but felt compelled to help her as she seemed in such distress. As the hitchhiker ghost got into the passenger seat, the driver asked, What message? Where do you want to go? The hitchhiker turned full face towards the driver and a wave of agony filled the car. The river, the water, he's gone. And then she disappeared, leaving just a wet car seat behind her.
Such a sad story, and no one seems to know what happened to this poor woman and her loved one. But looking at the geography of the area and knowing some local history, I can surmise it might have well been an accident while trying to cross the river Windrush, which runs alongside this road. There didn't used to be a bridge for every river crossing. People were safe to cross the river if the water was low, but during heavy rains the crossing would become hazardous and many people were drowned trying. King George III ordered a bridge to be built just downriver at Swinford after his carriage was overturned by the current and he nearly drowned himself. I hope you enjoyed our ghostly tale. Join us again soon for the next Haunted Britain upload. Let us know your haunting tales in the comments and please subscribe if you dare.